On today's episode of Identity, entrepreneur and co-founder of TIA League, Baba Longwe pops by for coffee. We head to Shongweni Township in Katoris to witness an after-school program initiative. Our What's Happening segment features the review of a South African travel guide app and an inspirational website. And Mandy Wundler closes off the show with a poetry performance. An individual with an imagination My inner faith illuminates innovations In a space with infinite inspiration I was born free from all incarceration Incredible, living infallibly Intelligent, outshine with my inner being This is me, impeccable as ever been I am you, you are me This is my identity Hello Zanzi For Sure viewers and welcome to another exciting episode of your favorite multi-faith magazine show that aims to inspire, educate and entertain you for the next 30 minutes. This is Identity and I'm your host Viewer Koala. Yesterday the 25th of April commemorated World Malaria Day established by the World Health Assembly with an aim to create awareness and provide more knowledge and understanding of malaria. This blood disease is transmitted through the bite of an infected mosquito. Once bitten, parasites are released into your body, which then infects and destroys red blood cells. In light of this awareness, let us unite at creating a global effort to prevent, reduce and control this pandemic. When you think of beauty with brains, what comes to mind? Well, that's just the short description of the young lady joining me for a chat today. Baba Longwe, who is co-founder and CMO of iSelect Group, she also holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Sociology. She has over seven years of experience in marketing, sales and strategy and has consulted for numerous leading companies in the financial and petroleum service industries. And it doesn't end there. Baba is also co-founder of an NGO called TIA League, which is a platform that provides young women with an opportunity to learn the fundamentals of business. How does she do it all, you ask? There's only one way to find out. Baba welcome to Identity. Thank you, thank you. So, Babi, tell us about Ohutsa Zhuang and how was your upbringing like? Okay, so I actually was raised by a single mother. I'd actually like to say I had two mothers. So, my mother and her sister actually raised me. So, um, a lot of my background and a lot of my, my upbringing is actually influenced by my maternal family. I was the only child until the age of 18 and then I got a little brother in matric. So I've currently got a brother from my mother's side and I've got uh, three siblings from my father's side, two brothers and a sister. And I grew up in Johannesburg in the East Rand in Kempton Park. And later on, when I went to high school, I moved to Bloemfontein and I went to a school called um, St. Michael School for Girls. All right. So let's talk about your spirituality. How was it introduced in your life and how does it shape in you into being the young woman that you are today? Spirituality to me is something that I was born into. So it was introduced from birth and what then happened is that the schools that I attended were also very um, say Christian based schools so I went to a Christian um, uh, school uh, in primary and then I changed I changed and moved to another school but then in high school I also went to a Christian based school um, called St. Michael's so I've always been um, in a very spiritual and religious um, say uh, environment and system so Christianity is something that really wasn't introduced I was born into it. Mm -hmm. Born and raised into born it. Born and raised into yes. it, exactly. Let's talk about iSelect Group, which you're the co-founder of as well. Please tell us a bit about it. What does it entail? So iSelect Group is actually a holdings company that's got about three business entities to it. So it's iSelect Wealth, mm -hmm. which is a forex trading company where we primarily teach um, individuals, we teach corporate companies, we teach groups of people how to trade in the international stock exchange. Mm -hmm. So we basically take individuals from you know a point where they absolutely know nothing about forex trading to a point where they can actually be experienced traders and actually make money for themselves. So we're very big on education, we're very big on actually showing people how to make Make smarter investment decisions and then the second company is iSelect Property which is basically a property company where we deal with um, sales and leasing of private property mm -hmm. and we also really really am um, involved um, in the development um, space as well so that's private and public sector mm -hmm. and then we've got a third company which is a corporate wellness company called iSelect Wellness where we basically deal with holistic wellness mm -hmm. and we consult for various corporate companies as well as individuals. Mm -hmm. Tell us about 
about TIA League, which is about women empowerment. Why specifically does that touch your heart and how was its inception? So what I realized is that as an entrepreneur, you know, you, you, you get certain skills, you're climbing up the ladder within your business, within, the career, within your career. However, there's not much giving back that we do. And for me, this, is, this was a way of how I can actually become accountable, um, you know, to my society and actually help um, help young women and actually empower them and also uh, walk them through my journey as an entrepreneur and also impart the skills that I've gained as an entrepreneur. So it's very close to my heart and this is the reason why I actually, um, you know, I started that company because I wanted to somehow give, give back to the community. And the awesome thing is both my NGO and iSelect Group actually work hand in hand oh, together. Yeah. So um, on the Forex trading side, we actually have a young women's incubation program where we basically incubate uh, varsity students, teach them entrepreneurial skills, and then at the same time, we also teach them Forex trading skills so that they've got that skill as well. Mm -hmm. So somehow my companies, um, you know, there's a way that they all interlink. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. But there must be some challenges that you face. I mean, you're young, you're black, you're an entrepreneur, and you mentor young women as well. What are those challenges and how do you get over them? So being, being a young black woman, so my business partner, Danielle Lester and I, when we actually started the business, we, we really didn't know much about the industry. So one of the challenges that we found was, you know, we went into this with no mentors in the industry because there aren't a lot of females within this industry. So. The challenges that we found was that we really threw ourselves into the deep end, which is a great thing because that's how we got to learn. But at the same time, you know, you kind of had to find a way of swimming and really learning new things. Um, the other thing is that being young, being black, being female, is that people would look at you and, you know, the financial services sector is, is, is very, it's male dominated. So what we found is that people would look at you as a young black female and actually say, how do we trust you with our money? How do we trust that you can actually give us proper advice. Mm -hmm. And you know, what we found was we had to work twice as hard to actually build ourselves and build a proper name mm -hmm. for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Okay, and for any young person who's looking at you, who's really inspired by Msibit yes. what would you advise them, especially if they're a young girl? So young people out there who want to start their own businesses, I think first and foremost, this might seem like a cliche, but it's just so true, that before you venture into anything, you actually need to make sure that you know that this is your passion. This is something that you love and this is something that you want to do because once you know that, it's actually going to be very simple for you to make money out of it because you're passionate about it. You're passionate about it. Passion speaks volumes. And then the next thing is really Educate yourself about the industry that you're going into. And while you're educating yourself, even if it means a form of formal education or just simply doing research about that industry, look at um, any loopholes that there are in the industry and actually see how you can close those gaps as an entrepreneur and think about new ideas, um, you know, new innovations. Think about how you can basically change, um, change that market and that's what's, what is going to set you apart from your competitors and is going to set you apart from other you, entrepreneurs. You'll be a change agent, which exactly. is basically what this, the country needs, especially from young people. Exactly. All right, uh, I have a quick word game for you here on Identity and it's called If You Were. So we're not all about being serious. We also yes. have fun in games, right? <laughs> so I'll ask, you the, I'll ask you a question and you'll answer me. Okay. All right. So if you were a teacher, which grade would you teach? Grade seven. If you were a superhero, what would your superpower be? My superpower would be to be invincible. All right. If you were a pilot, which destination would you go to first? Sure. That's a good question. First thing that's popping to my mind is Paris. Mm. Yeah. If you were a musician, which genre would you sing? Sure, gospel. Tapabala, thank you so much for being an inspiration to young people, especially women. Thank you. Thank you for having me. In the words of Dada Nelson Mandela, it's in your hands to make a better world for all who live in it. Babala's achievements give us a clear indication of how she's carried out Dada's legacy, and it gives us much pride seeing young people bringing about such positive changes in our communities. We wish her well as she continues to empower those around her. This is my identity. This is
is my identity. Sabukele inkubo eamba pambili emzanze ngoleza shukene yu identity kwi konge lamba pambili SAPC1 mzanzi for sure. Tingu viwe kwa la, nkosi ngukubanati. As you know, we love sharing positive and educational stories that our Mzansi youth take part in. So when Mfundo Mdebele, a born free from Shongweni Township in Kataras, sent us an email about an after-school program that he runs with his peers in their community, we could not pass up that offer. What better way to celebrate this Freedom Day than with these determined young people using their democratic right to positively influence those around them? With that said, our team saw it fit to grab our cameras and head to Shongweni Township to witness this uplifting story. This is what the team came back with. This is my identity. Mfundo Mdebele, a born free from Shongweni section in Gatlehom, saw a need to develop his community by coming together with his peers to create an after school program which helps school kids with their homeworks. Ngalogenza Amabanga Wama Pans Ukfunda, a school in his Pizomu Simon de Primary School. What I'm going to say is that from grade 7, I'm going to high school in Fumana Comprehensive School. I'm going to say that I'm Fumana, I'm going to finance, I'm going to go to the school. I'm going to go to the volunteer at the NPO, the Bible Breakthrough Center. The Breakthrough Center is the opportunity to go to the caregiver, and then the opportunity to go to the teacher and go to the class after care. At the same time, NPO is because I Umzimba, if manga bushala exercise and stuff, gula poko na mondo itabanga kona, ukonu itabanga kona fast. So when kana sengi tela abanyo banga nbami, usizo yangu tela inusizo uchazo ba faga like buma intensi. Gutanga ba anga ba exercise and stuff. Bona ma bazo exercise street, abantu na yake bazo ba enjoy. If manga bazo bona street bisha exercise. So ngati aiyenzi in the form of dancing. So if ba dance, abo abeko aware bona ba exercise abo ba siwa shipa ya chaiva. Bungu na skatle, so intole swing na tingu ndoya abo guti chambi like ba be active, masfu unda and stuff. In the engine to go to dedicate this cut is dedicated me and this cut some the recent linging I got to me three quam and then you're timing it in your observer along a part from seven to six to la galaganzi so you're not realized you could just in and clearly pants no prof and me since the spanish say right in the night cover on food of the gun after care program which he knew like about what you know you turn to love and door and so why not to go to me since i'm not this at least by this Sulo unkali le link program le imetu kiti ya bantu ana ngono wibo na bangi baze ba mila ma kiti nubo na bangi chala nti sisi nzana bantu ana la bengi na bana mbali la bantu ana na bengi ngono ni ya boxa kula ngano besto kwa ili ma peer pressure wuti asambi nso pe ma asambi nso nzani ndo kuna bana mala kiti nba chala utunat banga chwe na mbali la bantu ana la nti sisi nzana usifu unde amole micha amole micha besto nzani la bantu ana. Wata la bantu ana ba yuto pata ngamshanje ikuli la bantu ana ba kile ba lugo ba yanda micha na malang. So in Jabla Kulu, in Nati John Kunkulang and Pamanza, I'm open in Mondo, Nai, is Kat Masia, Abonesagna building a killer, a seven zella corner, a fundisa corner, Abantuana, Abanama equipment, a righty, which Abantuana were funded by Tully in Fundo, but Tweggy Pambi, Jungo Banai were funded. We're learning Pokem Yami and Jabasa Zalason to in Jala and Tanakalang Batanda Z, Batanda Z, Tala, so one is Catlia, so one of our funded and our Gucci. Bali yangu kwenye nguvu yangu kiti sienza, mlelo bomo mukulunkul, like wengine kito yenza, wazu wazu kumele leto zako zambeni kile rai. Kula believe ugochi, uishmanga be abantana ba fundi sawa from an early age, guzuba guzu chincha inle la ispila ngai la South Africa, guzu chincha isitesfa na ma social economic issues, fa na uma poverty, abo rape, zuri chuzera nto leo, zuba kule ba awe ngende spera na nazo tina masikile skula, ba zame na uba bon banga kona wuz. Is called as a puma eli, and then maybe puma is called when it's running the baby hamba by usual. It's catch a seat. So, but now it's catch a sling. So we spend a lago after care because by the time by figuring in about two five, by the figure by a kumula by a class by usual. So seven is catch a sling. So so usual. This is going to improvement in cool. 
eh, before na na now since agule after Kelly. Anything in Oma you footing in Umfundo. Uguti umtona no man abam am to a yeli. Guba niti French guti manjas is settler sin. Umina mutisha when I would do an act. So um semi working ubona utata serious. Put on for no fundisa image. The social science, the own kind of subject, we see, we find this good part and improve. No, it is simple. We think as in. We think from this side, we put on from the good image, and they enjoy and go back and understand the mistake we have. We think we teach them. We have been told that we are planning to have some social skills. We have a good command of people with that in front, and we continue to be part of it. Since we attend the program. I'm seven years old. School, teaching a cool singer was understand the things in it. Who is in it? Being as understand, since he go put in front of singer was understand the things in it. La vanta ning ba fundi sa yo bangyan za watching feeling in jere shuga shuga ni. As babu ya guma background as shuga shuga ni. So umonya unge na apans umonya unge na pezu luso. Nchola nkona ukfunda kubona watu shuga shuga ni ranga kana ni singa bantu. The respect bang ingeza yona. Ingeza mi na lento leo kuni slenta ni yenza yo fobo na ibalu ranga kana. Ne pu pulo kubona learning program si kuli listen da wiyo chukfunda la. Abantu ana bani mitirele pele la chukfunda la. Na ma textbooks. And go back to a man. This cat is humble. The man. The day things are going to technology. Man. So if people are more cool, they will just solve this. Now, my computer, la, from the intro to seven to another technology before by a pambi. I'm lying right now for a band on a ballad of South Africa. Me le baza me go chiba from the bang a waste is cut. Then I would le freedom message now. Go man. Je ilu elu ga cool. Je mugo as go ame me. I believe me. Now which exactly no go ame. Na laban taba zinpa guam ni kaba angu pe kala akega kona i South Africa encha and gule learning program ya mi ya zama wu info centre le bantu nupa bini discipline ba kulega njani ngobanji le fudo mesna le ngapando kaba taba elu ele angabai. This is my identity. Thank you to Mfundo Mdebele for inviting us to witness such an inspiring story that he and his peers had to share. We too are inspired by such enlightening stories that help shape Mzansi's youth into great leaders, thereby giving our country a better tomorrow. Ukuba nani jengo mfundo, ninebali ela kanae, nilifundi sana eninga tanu kwa bela na atingalu, eninga tanda ikadale identity, ukuba nili ambele, ninga tumela ingwa tikutilesi identity tv show at gmail.com. It's time for one more break. When we come back, we head into today's What's Happening segment, which features the review of a travel guide app that will provide you with different travel destinations in Mzanzi, as well as a website that will leave you positive and inspired. We'll be right back. This is my identity. This is my identity. Welcome back. You're still watching Identity right here on SABC One. I'm your host, Viewer Kuala. If you've just joined us, here's what you missed. We started the show with an inspirational talk with serial entrepreneur Baba Longwe. We then headed to Kataras, where we celebrate Freedom Day in style with the youth members of the Shongwini Township. Now it's time for this week's media review segment. This is What's Happening. With the public holiday upon us, I'm sure many of you would like to take a short lift to a local destination with loved ones. The app we have for you today will definitely come in handy in this department. It's called Head South. Head South is a comprehensive travelling app which comes in handy to those who love to travel to various cities and towns in South Africa. It offers you useful information from restaurants and accommodation to local tourist attractions, all based on your current location. If you're visiting a new place and you want to discover new hotspots, click the Explore tab to get a list of hotspots to visit in South Africa. After exploring and discovering your new spot and perhaps feeling a little empty bellied, the Cool Places to Eat option will help you navigate to the best local restaurants using your GPS location. The app also gives you an option to organize and plan your own activities through the day. Simply select the My Plans to create your own schedule. 
If you're a foreign national and you need general assistance, click the Info tab to get various options such as transportation, embassy assistance and visitor centre in South Africa. The Head South app also offers you general information about different cities and provinces as well as specific emergency information. Make sure you complete your bucket list with the help of this amazing app, it's called Head South. What an interesting app, I'll most certainly be using it. Now on to our next review. In today's busy and hectic lifestyle, we sometimes find ourselves craving some motivation and needing some spiritual elevation. Let us check out a website that will do just that. It's www.positivelypositive.com. Positivelypositive.com is a resource center for self-improvement that aims to feed you with content that will encourage, empower, and motivate you. This uplifting community strives to enthuse and help you reach your greatest potential. The homepage offers you a selection of the latest and popular articles by the website contributors. The video tab offers you a variety of eye-opening material, which gives you insightful knowledge about life, mediation and culture. Select the quotes tab for a selection of different quotes from influential contributors that will motivate and uplift you. For some inspirational material to help you navigate into some areas in your life, Click the inspiring option to read on topics such as your career, traveling and ancient history. Perhaps you want to publish your own story. Click on the submit a story tab to be one of the website's contributors. Stay inspired in your journey by visiting www.positivelypositive.com. Tomorrow, our country celebrates the 23rd anniversary since our first democratic elections. This marks the day in which South Africa's first non-racial democratic elections took place. On the 27th of April 1994, people of all races, culture, religions and those who were over the age of 18 took to the polls to vote for the party of their choice, all in the light of sharing a harmonious and fair country for all. We'd like to wish you all a safe and peaceful Freedom Day. Sifika kubele ni nkubo ya namshanje identity. Sitembu kuba undu endo iluetu. Iba letu nezi pendu zetu zinishie na kekile kwa ye nina nchi seko. Kuba ni nao mabali akana wakuinda wanishala kuyo. Ninga bela la nati ngao ngustu melingu wa tikwiti lesi identity tv show at gmail.com. May you continue having a blessed week. Mandi Vunja is here in studio to bless us with a beautiful poem. From me, Vyo Tuala and the identity team, stay blessed. Goodbye. Mandi, take it away. My grandmother's signature leaves a blemish on the page. History reminds me why she holds the pen like an age-old threat. She thinks the ink will drown her, that the doggy ears on the paper were trained to turn and bite her. So I fill the forms with her body. Her name is a colony. I write Native Land Act in the space for residential address. Her date of birth reads like a memoir of things long forgotten. But history knows our grandmothers are still alive with our past. We cannot build a bridge over their songs when they sing to us. At the police station, a man lowers the voice in his mouth, crumples back his tongue, shreds the ink off his skin, and says, I cannot make words with this. When they write his statement for him, I wonder which version will make it to court, and how many of the stories left to rot outside our bodies are calling the maggots back home, and what do we do to get them out. 